Assalamu alaikum and salam sejahtera Well, uh, in this video I would like to share with all of you another one more command uh, in order to create a uh, 3D surface which is known as lofted surface Okay guys, so let's get started uh, As we know that once we talk about uh, lofted surface all right, it all it almost similar like the um, lofted boss or base which we have done which we have uh, gone through under the 3d solid modeling whereby we need to have uh, more than one uh, sketches okay so in this case we need to have uh, we we're going to create this sketch first and let's say uh, for example okay uh, I'm going to create uh, pick my top plane is my sketch plane and then let's say I'm going to pick a straight slot and then let's say I'm going to indicate the dimension let's say this one is um, 50 the radius whereby the uh, length between each uh, center point of this slot is let's say I'm going to make it 100 as well Okay, so once at 100, right? This is uh, the diameter is 100, and the uh, length of this slot is also 100 mm, right? Then once after we already confirmed, we need to exit from sketch, and then I'm going to create another one more uh, additional plane at the bottom of this uh, if uh, of our first sketch, okay? Uh, whereby I'm going to go to features and then plane. And the first reference, I'm going to select top plane, right? And then uh, this uh, distance, this I'm going to flip offset. Let's say this, the distance I'm going to reduce to, so I'm going to have a front plane so that I can have a, a clear picture. Uh, then let's say I'm going to reduce it to somewhere around, let's say 80, right? All right, now. I'm going to sketch my second. Uh, I'm going to sketch my second uh, sketch. All right, second sketch on this plane. So I'm going to uh, select plane one, go to sketch, and then normal two. And let's say this time I do, I would like to uh, pick the circle. I'm going to start at this origin. And let's say I'm going to indicate the dimension with uh, let's say. Mm, okay, 50 mm the diameter, all right? Okay, there you are. And remember to exit from the sketch, all right? So now we already have two uh, sketches with closed loop. Okay, I'm going to hide my plane one first to avoid from any confusion. So right now, okay, we're going to uh, apply the lofted surface, all right? in order to join both of these uh, particular of uh, sketches right so go to surfaces then lofted surface and i'm going to pick this one to this one there you are right so you have to make sure that your green dotted line should be like this if let's say if your dotted line like that it will squeeze like that all right as you can see over here okay it's will really squeeze so we do one like this so if let's say if your points uh, become like this you need to pick uh, the top point and then put it over here so that you can have a very smooth uh, uh, lofted surface like this okay so once after confirm then just need to click okay there you are right so let's say I'm going to proceed with my uh, sketch. So we already learned about the. Um, might probably I'm going to uh, go to plane one as my sketch plane, and then I'm going to convert it to this, this one, right? Then I'm going to go to surface and then extrude the surface. Let's say I'm going to make it. Um, the other the other uh, the other side and let's say i'm going to increase it to uh, 20 mm there you are 
And then we also have learned about the ruled surface. I'm going to apply root surface and I'm going to make it normal to surface. And the edge selection that I'm going to choose is this edge. There you are. So I'm going to reduce the size instead of 10 mm. I'm going to reduce it to um might be 7 or 8. Let's say 8 lah. Okay, let's say 8. There you are. And then I'm going to proceed again. And this time I'm going to pick this surface as my sketch plane. And then I'm going to convert entities. Convert entities means that some sort of a copy. Okay, I'm going to copy or convert entities this inner circle. Right? Then click OK. There you are. And then I'm going to proceed with my extrude surface. Okay, go to surfaces toolbar or surface step. And then extrude surface. I'm going to make it surface somewhere around this. I'm going to make it okay, lah, 70. Alright? Then click OK. Okay, there you are. So now if we refer to our surface body under this manager design tree we if we expand this arrow we can find that uh, we do have four surface bodies which are this is the first one okay this is the first one this is the second one okay i'm going to rotate a bit in order to show you the third surface which is this one and the final body surface body is this one all right so uh we're going to need all of this surface to become as one surface in order to uh apply or to assign a certain thickness on this particular of uh, i can say a product all right a product um okay i'm going to go to need surface and then uh, under these selections, I'm going to select all of these body surface. Once after uh, again, just leave this as uh, default. The gap is 0 0.1. Okay, then just click OK. There you are. So if you see carefully, uh, under this surface bodies is already converted to to one one surface only one body surface only. All right. So. Uh, before uh, we proceed to the thicken command, I'm going to apply a um, few fillets. Let's say I'm going to apply fillets with, let's say, around 3 mm. I'm going to apply it at this edge, uh, this edge, as well as, let's say, kat mana lagi eh? Where else? Okay, let's see this edge. There you are. All right. So once after confirm, and then I make, uh, I'm going to pick this uh, constant size fillet, all right, and then click OK. Okay, there you are. All right. So now we can. Uh, uh, you have to remember before you can apply fillet on your surface, you have to make sure to uh, you need you have to need all the surface body first. Then you can apply your fillets or other other particular of features uh, surface features such as chamfer as well now i'm going to thicken it so i'm going to apply my thicken command and i'm going to apply it like say maybe 3 mm the thickness and the surface body that i'm going to uh, create the, the the thickness is this one yeah uh, instead of uh, you know having uh, the thickness inside this uh, original uh, surface i'm going to make it at outside of this original surface like that okay so once after confirm i just can straight, get, straight away go to okay there you are all right okay and then let's say i'm going to apply a slot here say for example get okay, a slot at this body at this uh, you know this particular of uh, area so i'm going to pick my um front plane as my sketch plane right and then normal to so you have to remember once after you have already converted the surface to a certain thickness so it means that this particular of uh, product or, or part okay uh, uh, has has uh, has has become a, a 3D solid modeling. All right, so I'm going to create as I mentioned to you previously that I'm going to apply with a, a certain uh, slot. Let's see, 
um, okay at the I'm going to pick at this speed midpoint as my reference point and then I just simply create okay and then let's see I'm going to apply with a certain dimension let's see this is um 5 mm right 5 mm and then the length of this slot is let's see, I'm going to make it 40 mm whereas the distance between this and uh, center point to this each let's see, I'm going to make it 12 mm okay all right so now I'm going to apply okay you have to remember now this is a solid okay this is a solid part okay now uh, however for this particular of sketch the slot sketch I'm going to apply with the surfaces uh, extruded surface right and I'm going to make it mid plane there you are and I'm going to reduce okay as long as uh, this uh, surface protruded uh, out, uh, you know, like that. I think should be okay. Then just click okay. So guys, uh, if you still remember, if let's say if we have not yet taken this particular of part, uh, we can just simply apply the uh, trim surface in order to eliminate the this particular of center area here. All right, this this particular of center area here. Okay, uh, in that case, if we can apply that uh, the, the the trim surface, if we have not yet taken this particular of part, but since we already you know have applied okay the uh, the taken command on this part, okay on this surface especially because we're going to create a slot here, and uh, we have already created as well this surface. Okay, this this slot surface. Okay, therefore we can't use trim surface. We have to apply the cut with surface. Okay, why? Because this is the surface. Okay, this one is the surface, whereas this particular body is a is a solid body. Therefore, we need to use cut with surface, not trim surface. If trim surface, it should be between the surface as well as this surface as well let's say this one also uh, is a surface body then you can we can apply the trim surface however again i want to repeat however in this particular case since this is this body is a solid body okay the uh, whereas this one is the surface therefore in order to eliminate the center area here okay the center section here we need to apply the cut with surface all right so click this one and then which uh, 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 surface cut parameter means that the tool tool uh, the tool uh, trim okay so this is the the one that we're going to select and then just simply click okay there you are okay okay so now we can hide this surface uh, this particular of surface body which is surface extruded tree right so just hide that like that there you are okay so that is how you can apply the surface with the combination of those uh, particular of command that we have uh, learned uh, before this okay i would like to show to you another one more example uh, which related to the uh, lofted surface as well uh, let's say I'm going to pick uh, front plane as my sketch plane and then uh, let's say I'm going to apply three point arc this time. You can apply with any any kind of shape, okay? Uh, it doesn't mean that uh, it is uh, compulsory for you to apply with the three point. You can use the spline or, or, or other, other, other sketch commands, alright? And let's see, um, I'm going to apply, let's say, this one. Where but the radius is less. I'm going to make it 60 mm, all right? And then I'm going to make sure that this endpoint with this endpoint should be in horizontal form. I'm going to define it. And this endpoint, you can select either this endpoint or this endpoint, it doesn't matter, it should be the same together with this um, origin, all right? I'm going to make it horizontally. 
and then I'm going to apply the distance between here and here let's say I'm going to make it 60 there you are right uh, or oh, I'm going to make it uh, let's say try 40 40 and then 42 too small so let's say I'm going to make it 60 okay same to go with this one let's say I'm going to make it 60 as well okay there you are now this is my first catch just now uh, the, the, the lofted surface at the uh, uh, beginning of this video I showed to you how we're going to apply the lofted surface uh, with a closed loop but this time I'm going to show to you how we're going to apply the lofted surface uh, with a, an open loop like this alright so uh, as what I did mention too and even you already know about this that once we talk about lofted surface definitely we need to have more than one one sketch so i'm going to apply the additional plane whereby my first uh, reference plane is uh, my front plane and i'm going to uh, you know assign this plane at the other side so i'm going to flip this one or my flip my 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 plane and let's see let's see okay i'm going to increase the distance might probably around okay lah 130 okay 130 doesn't matter you can uh, have the 150 distance uh, 200 distance should be no problem 200 mm distance uh, from the original uh, plane here should be okay no problem so now i'm going to pick this uh, plane one as my sketch plane and then i'm going to go to normal two and again i'm going to apply the same sketch which is 3d point arc and this time i'm going to make it smaller a bit let's say this time i'm going to apply with uh let's say this is um let's say 40 mm and i'm going to make sure that this end point with this end point should be in horizontal same to go with this end point to this origin horizontal and then I'm going to apply a dimension between here to here. Let's I'm going to make it um, 35. Whereas the distance from here to here is 35 as well. Should be the mm, let's say I'm going to increase this instead of 35. Let's I'm going to make it 45. How about this one? Let's I'm going to make it 45 also. Okay, in that case, I need to delete this one first because it's uh, overdefined. So I'm going to make it this one 45. There you are. And then I do. I'm going to make this. Let's see. Hmm. I'm going to make it 40. All right. Okay. means that 40 cannot let's say i'm going to make this one um let's say if 42 is it okay cannot so i'm i need to delete this and then the uh, yes, i'm going to delete this one as well and i'm going to indicate my dimension because it is over defined okay let's say that that's why we can't we can uh, um, uh uh, in, uh, create our, our in, uh, key in our dimension as now. So we're going to make sure that this particular of uh, center point to this origin should be in at the same place. Okay, so cannot. Or in that case, I need to delete this one again. This red one need to delete. This is how we can troubleshoot. Okay, troubleshoot our sketch. I'm going to pick this one to this one and I'm going to consider okay there you are all right so it means that uh, in this case uh, this uh, I can see this uh, curve the diameter of this curve it will create automatically based on this uh, 45 degrees as well as the origin uh, I mean uh, consider that we have created just now okay 
so you can try it uh you know by try and error all right uh for this sketch so once after confirm you just need to uh, exit from the sketch and i'm going to uh hide this plane one okay, i'm going to hide this and then next is that i'm going to apply the right plane as my sketch plane all right and then i'm going to now i'm going to pick the spline this yes, i'm going to start it from here okay here at this point make sure that you touch the point and let's see if let's say if you if you if you you know not touching this one also should be no problem but you have to define it okay so how to define it okay since we already know that these symbols shows us that oh this end point of the spline has already you know uh, merge or touch with this uh, curve point however in this particular case it's in it's not yet you know merge between each other therefore in this particular case you can define it okay so how are you going to define it by go to this end point the end point of this spline and then press control button do not release that button yet then then pick this curve then you can press, uh, release your control button and then you need to pierce it so that it will merge uh, between each other so right so it looks like that and even if you go to the symbols it already shows to us that it's already uh, 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 merge okay join uh, between each others then once after confirm to just click ok and then we need to exit from the sketch and another one more sketch that I'm going to apply. This I'm going to again. I'm going to pick my right plane as my sketch plane, and then I'm going to uh, apply this a straight line, straight horizontal line between this end point to this end point. There you are. Okay, and then now it's time for me to proceed uh, uh, with my surfaces right which is loaded surface and i'm the profiles that i'm going to choose is this one and also this one and the guide curve is this one okay this one the spline that we have created just now okay the spline uh, uh, again i wanted to uh, remind you here that this spline should be should be connected to both of these particular profiles all right so just click OK. There you are. And then just click OK. Right. Now I'm going to uh, proceed with an uh, external surface. And this time I'm going to pick this line, the straight horizontal line. Right. And then I'm going to apply, let's say, 100 mm together with the direction 2. You can apply the mid plane as well. No problem. But uh, since uh, we already learned about the direction 2 also therefore i'm going to you know use the direction 2 there you are so once after confirm just click ok and i'm going to trim surface i can use trim surface why because this body is a surface same with this body which is surface as well that's why if i would like to eliminate this particular offset and also this particular offset since both of these bodies are the uh, are in a surface form therefore we can apply the trim surface not like just now okay okay at our in our uh, uh, previous video uh, uh, previous uh, part that i've already showed to you whereby uh, it is combination between the solid as well as surface in that case in order to eliminate a certain area we need to apply the cut with surface however for this case we we can just use the trim surface right so the trim tool is this one and i'm going to remove this particular off section or area same as well as this one right so then click ok so that i can have a straight cut like that okay and then i can just simply uh, hide this uh, surface extrude body okay so now uh, this is how it looks like once we already you know uh, form this particular surface by using a lofted surface and let's say i'm going to proceed with uh, another few common commands which we already learned uh, previously 
Um, okay, now um, let's. I'm going to mirror this. Okay, I'm going to mirror this surface. I'm going to mirror it. And my okay, this one they already selected for us uh, because just now I already select selected this particular of uh, surface. And then my mirror face or my mirror plane is my top plane. Right there you are. Okay. And then uh okay I'm going to uh hide this, this all these lines. So go to surface love and I'm going to hide this. Same to this one and also this one. Okay, okay done. So now uh I'm going to uh, apply with, uh, uh, with a certain radius here but before that you have to remember that in order to apply with uh, other features uh, surface command we need to need both of these okay, surface bodies now as you can see over here there are two uh, uh, bodies which is uh, the top one as, as well as the bottom one which we uh, just mirrored just now and then uh, by using uh, the surface okay by need surface we can join both of this uh, surface body to become s as one body like this okay so it's already converted to uh, one body and then we can apply with the fillet surface i'm going to apply with the constant size fillet and let's i'm going to maintain with 10 mm the uh, radius so i'm going to apply here same to go with here right and just click OK. Here you are. And now I'm going to apply a certain thickness. Let's I'm going to make it um, 3 mm, and I'm going to apply it to this surface. Uh, okay, let's I'm going to make it outside like that. Okay, the thickness outside from this original. Uh, you see, okay, outside from instead 3 mm from here to here. Right, outside from this original uh, surface that we've created and then let's say once after confirm let's have a look okay I think it should be fine okay okay now okay if okay then uh, we just click okay there we are. all right and now I'm going to uh, apply with a uh, certain uh, particle of features let's say I'm going to uh, go to top plane as my sketch plane and uh, let's see i'm going to apply with a certain let's see i'm going to create like this kind i'm going to eliminate this particular of portions and let's see i'm going to have a smart dimensions here and let's say that i mean it is 100 mm all right and the distance between here to here let's say i'm going to make it uh, 16 mm and also I'm going to make sure that this center point of this circle to this origin origin should be in a vertical vertical form okay now there you are and then next I'm going to switch to surface toolbar or surface uh, tab and then I'm going to extrude this uh, circle sketch with mid plane let's say this time i'm going to make it plane unless i'm going to increase it a bit right there you are so once after confirm just click ok and if you still remember or if you still remember i did mention right if since we already taken this particular of a body therefore it's already trans uh, converted from surface to 3d solid and in order since we already created this uh, particular of trim tool with surface uh, body therefore we in order to eliminate this uh, particular of area top area as well as bottom areas therefore we need to use the cut with surface right so which is our trim tool this is our trim tool then just click you have to make sure that the arrow should be should be facing facing here so it means that it will it will eliminate this particular of area if the arrow facing that particular of area it will eliminate this this area uh, okay so i'm going to make sure that my arrow should be facing at this side like that okay so once after confirm just click okay there you are 
all right so now I can just simply hide this surface body there you are and then uh, you can apply with a uh, normal fillet uh, same with the constant let's I'm going to maintain with 10 mm and I'm going to apply to this edge this edge this edge and together with this edge there you are okay all right so this is how it looks like okay last one let's I'm going to apply again I'm going to pick my top plane as my sketch plane normal tool and this time I'm going to uh, apply with a let's say a straight slot and I'm going to make sure it should be at the center point let's say this is the first point and let's say this is the second one oops sorry in from here to here and then okay let's see like that and then I'm going to apply the uh, radius of the slot let's say the radius is uh, 15 All right and let's say the distance between this center point of this slot to here to this origin is I'm going to make it 80 mm okay 80 mm there you are Right, and let's see the length of the slot is let's I'm going to make it easy so it doesn't matter with the length why because it's already protruded protruded out like this okay protruded of these uh, particular of solid parts or solid body okay uh, okay now uh, once I to confirm then we can straight we go to surface and extrude uh, surface with a mid plane there you are and then again I'm going to eliminate the uh, inside uh, area or inside surface this one for top as well as for a bottom surface here all right so again we need to proceed with cut with surface and which is our trim tool this is our trim tool and just click OK there you go all right and then we can hide this particular of surface body and again I'm going to apply with my fillet okay solid fillet since this already become as a solid part and then let's um, uh, let's say try um, uh, 10, mm, 10 mm the radius so I'm going to apply also at this particular of edges edges okay four edges this one okay, this one as well as this one okay how about if we increase try have a look how it looks like okay i think it should be okay let's say we maintain with 30 mm the radius and just uh, make sure it's a constant uh, fillet and once after confirm just click okay there you are okay so i don't know what what is actually this part uh, looks like but um you know uh, i just simply draw so this is how you can apply the uh, lofted boss piece for the 3d surface uh, in order to you know create a certain uh, part as uh, we have created uh, uh, like this one okay guys so i think that's all and hopefully that you understand okay you can try out with other 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 shape Okay, of the 3D surface part, you can try out it by using the lofted, bowl, uh, lofted base or also combination, uh, sorry, uh, surfaces, lofted uh, surface together with combination of all this as well, you can try out, alright. Okay guys, uh, uh, thank you for watching, thank you for your attention and I will see you in our next video. Thank you very much.